Adrian French, uh, Mount Duck High School, uh, the neighborhood of Gordon Head in Victoria, British Columbia. How do you get past basic curriculum, worksheets, textbooks, and actually get the kids engaged? The first thing I, I realized is not a lot of my students think like I do, which I think can be a pretty good thing. They can be brilliant artists who can express themselves visually but not verbally or not in prose and say, well, why can't I make that work? And as soon as I let go of my preconceived notions of what a project should look like, then it exploded. And the idea was to take um, Canadian history, World War I, which is a powerful time in our history, and combine it with literature, The, the Three Day Road by Joseph Boyden, and I team taught with a man named Alan Williams. I said, how do we pull it all together? And a woman in our district, Nella Nelson, was having a conversation with her one day over a cup of coffee, and I said, I need an image, I need something. And she said, have you looked up Cree Star Blankets? And I looked at Cree Star Blankets, and I went, that's it. It's one of those light bulb moments. I started out with a four by four sheet of white foam board, cut it into little squares and gave that out. And the kids began to really, they were going like, what's this supposed to look like? They were hesitant, but then they had their little piece they took away with them. Really didn't think it was gonna be anything spectacular, but when it started coming back, it blew my mind at what these kids produced. Some of them have personal belongings. I told the kids they had to take those back home again, but they began to personalize this at such a level that they're not gonna forget World War I because they owned it. I mean, one student said that, you know, Mr. French, it's very much like the war. From far away, it's quite beautiful, but when you get up and look at it really closely, it's not so nice. And that hit me like a ton of bricks, and that's when I'm going like, wow, that worked. I call it historical empathy. How do you get a 17-year-old to empathize with someone who left their country to go overseas to fight in a war they didn't really understand? As a teacher, you can see where they're going so you can facilitate, but it's their questions which drive their learning, which allow them to create the end product. I like to think we, got, we hit it.